Hi friends. Today I will show you how we can program the Myrio board using wireless communication. So prerequisite for this uh, Myrio uh, wireless programming is you should connect your Myrio with uh, Wi-Fi, and you should connect your Myrio with that Wi-Fi node in which uh, your PC is also connected. So in that case. Let's open the lab view and uh, directly you can go. So you can see here my Rio project. So a window will pop up. And uh, because right now I haven't connected my Rio with uh, USB, it is just connected uh, with Wi Fi. So you will select this option. And what it will do, uh, wait. Okay, so you can see that uh, it's connected here. So it is possible that maybe five, six uh, Myrio boards are there and they are connected with the same uh, Wi-Fi uh, modem in which uh, your uh, laptop is connected. So right now only one uh, Myrio is connected. So we will just select this and here maybe uh, let's give it a name PH sensor uh, software because that's what I'm working on. And you can give any project path where you want to save it. So I want to give this one and just finish. Now you can see that uh, by default uh, a project is created and uh, here there is no file because uh, we are directly uh, trying to program the myrio and this is the name so and you can see the ip address by default with which your myrio is connected so yes you can change this as well these details so for example i'm writing uh, ph uh, myrio maybe you can name it the way you want so this is the main file so you double click it and uh, you will see so this is by default uh, program which actually reads the data from uh, three axis accelerometer so for example if i want to run it so that will actually deploy the program so now you can see I am I'm moving this Myrio and the real time data you can see. So that's how you can do. But what if you don't want to uh, use the same program and just, uh, you know, create your own program. Either you can, you know, right click and uh, new VI. That's also possible. Or another thing is same, uh, you go to the block diagram of this and just delete it for example and make your own program so how we can do it let's just delete this and uh, go to block diagram and here I want to get uh, a while loop and let's give it uh, a control for your stop button because at any time we can stop this and we can go to myrio and let's directly use analog input right because i want to read the input channel of myrio so here you will find actually three blocks which are uh, with myrio so i just want to use the first pin that is uh, pin number three and the good thing is you can see the code you you can directly copy the code and uh, paste on your uh, block diagram but I just want to use it as it is so another thing is connection so where you want to connect your sensor so I want to connect sensor at pin number three because I have selected pin number three here so just press ok right so for display we can create the indicator just to look at it so let's see it's asking for save yes we will save it and you can see that uh, the random uh, you know signal that is being read by the input channel 
this is around 0.7 but another thing is because we have uh, added no delay and it is running with the speed of your computer so it is better to add the delay so we can give it like uh, 500 milliseconds delay and now you can see uh, let's deploy it first so now it's done so you can see it's almost constant because we are getting data after every 0.5 seconds another thing is we can also do one thing we can create the what we call uh, graph indicator or we can go here and let's suppose we want to select this one and just click this and run it first it will deploy and then so let's make it one six volt and zero point zero volt so you can see so that's how you can do and uh, i haven't connected uh, my rio with usb it's wirelessly sending data and uh, i am you know physically touching the pin number one so that you can see some fluctuations because right now i haven't connected any sensor with it so that's it for now thank you so much for watching